All right, today we're taking a look at our 2014 Jeep Wrangler Sahara. It's got roughly 57,000 miles on it. Front end is very clean on it. It is a local trade. Tires are in good shape, plenty of tread left on those. Wheels are not damaged. Top is in good shape. It's a three piece hard top. Seats are nice, not stained or damaged in any way. Driver's front seat. The rear seat that is a fold and tumble, it is also removable. but that's in good shape as well. Uh, it's a sport bar with two speakers up top. You get your removable pieces for the hard top uh, right here. So you can remove uh, the driver's piece and the passenger piece and leave the back on if you'd like. Uh, or you can take the whole thing off. Or after you take the whole thing off, you can put these two pieces back on the front to make like a bikini top or a sunshade. Uh, this one does have um, remote start on it and then of course it is a power power windows power locks keyless entry unit it does have your audio controls on the back of the steering wheel for volume and tuning um, has your optional auto temp control where you can set the temperature whatever you'd like put it on automatic um, on the fan an auto on where it blows out at and then it'll maintain you know, 72 degrees or whatever you have it set on. You've got your 115 volt power outlet, which is here in the center console. You got hill descent control, your four-way flashers and a stability program uh, option there in the middle. Uh, Four-wheel drive is uh, same on all these Jeeps. Uh, it's a select track. And then your automatic transmission, it does not run a manual, which is nice. Uh, owner's manual and stuff's inside the glove box. Full-size spare with matching rim. Uh, it does have the optional trailer tow package on it, as well as the factory tow hook. It's got some taillight covers, which those can be removed if you don't like those. Uh, the updated interior gives you a hold for the rear uh, hatch so that way that'll stay put on a on a hill uh, factory subwoofer that's an alpine sub and on this seat there's a handle here it'll fold that forward and then tumble it up out of the way in the floor you have a uh, nice little floor mat back here for the cargo area and there's a flip right here when you flip that you've got access to um, your jack and stuff are beneath this pocket right here you've got holders for the bolts for the roof and if you want to take the doors off there's a uh, hinge bolts there uh, this bag is the factory bag for your three-piece hard top those hard top pieces when they come off you can put them in that bag and just throw them back here uh, next to the sub there is an extra 12 volt outlet which is very nice this just flips back close this up Driver's rear tire, it's in good shape. Rims in good shape, factory boards. Power locks are there on the driver's door. The driver's seat has a height adjust so you can ratchet the seat higher or lower depending on what you need. It does have uh, factory Bluetooth is on there as well as your menu controls. This has the nicer menu that's up in front of you. Let me close the door here. 
So you get your compass and temperature. As you go through, you can have a digital speedometer if you want to just see um, the speed, uh, fuel mileage, distance till empty, tire pressure at each tire, a trip timer, vehicle info will give you like coolant temp, oil life to your next oil change, oil pressure, trans temp, and then if you want to switch it to metric units, any system warnings will pop up there, and then back to compass and temperature. It does have 57,000 on it for miles. Um, AM FM CD player um, does have the satellite radio and that is still working. And does have power mirrors as well. Jump back out here. On the floor, it does have very nice WeatherTech uh, floor liners on it to protect the floor. And under the hood, you've got your next generation V6, which performs very, very well. Much better than the old 3.8 liter V6. 